The open source movement is the biggest resource we have on the computer world to keep our freedom of sharing and acquiring information moving forward. Oh wow I had no idea people would even fight for control of information and improvement of technologies just for the sake of money and power. Who is in charge of such movement? Richard Stallman is the front man on the open source movement. He initiated the free software movement in October 1985. Oh I see, so he must be very intellectual when it comes to computers right? What else has he done? He grew up learning and sharing software on the 1970s and is considered a hacker. He was tired of having to buy software and live in a divided online world. Therefore he created his own content on the free software programs for everyone to have access to. So what did he do about it? It was 1983 when he announced that he will develop a free software operating system called Linux. See, free software is a good form of globalization which has been growing since the 80s, and Richard thought it was immoral to train kids to buy corporate-owned software and live in the way that they need to do extra in classes to be respected for their work and not following the mainstream. So tell me more about being a hacker, aren't they bad people? Why would Richard be one? He explains that he grew up being a hacker but this word does not always mean that the person is doing something bad. A hacker is someone that has a clever way to push the limits of computer programs. So hackers that share software are actually good neighbors? Yes indeed and free software keeps corporations from getting all the profit from the public and instead helps small companies with many different areas of expertise to have some profit as work as well. So is it very competitive in the free software society? Yes it is. In free software many different hackers compete in improving each other's technologies and ultimately doing good for the whole world. Give me an example of a step in the open software movement. Fiery Fox is an example of an open source movement. Internet Explorer is the most popular internet browser out there and it is not open to the public. It has been limited by pop-up ads, spyware and viruses. Firefox however is a type of browser from the public to the public so therefore there is a kind of competition by hackers to find each other's mistakes and improve this browser. That's really neat. So what are some cool capabilities in Firefox? Coders have created more than 175 extensions that perform specific, sometimes delightful functions. Stuff that cannot be done in any other browser. Who were the inventors of such a great thing? The inventors were Blake Ross, an angular, hyperkinetic 19-year-old Stanford sophomore with spiky black hair, and Ben Goodger, a stout, soft-spoken 24-year-old New Zealander. While Goodger was refining Fiery Fox code, Ross started Spread Fiery Fox, a community site that hosts Fiery Fox blogs and gives points to a volunteer army of operatives for converting the masses. No wonder Fiery Fox is always voted to be people's favorite browser. I want to tell you about the biggest online library out there which believe it or not is completely free. I'm surprised that you might know something about computers at all. What website is that? The program is called Wikipedia and is the place where most people go to find basic information about anything. Who came up with such a benevolent idea? The founder is Jimmy Wales. And thanks to him we are closer to being part of a world in which every single person on the planet has free access to the sum of all human knowledge.